What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up and go. It looks like today the Dallas Cowboys are starting to get a little active with their roster acquisitions. So they just brought in Carl Lawson from the New York Jets. We did a film breakdown on him about two weeks ago. So check that right up above. But also yesterday they traded for Jordan Phillips defensive tackle with the New York Giants. They're doing a little NFC East trading, right? So working with the ops. But when it comes to Jordan Phillips, this is not just a jack. I know a lot of people were saying, well, Tuck, he's bounced around the league. He's been here. He's been to Buffalo. He's been to Miami. He's been back to Buffalo. He went to Arizona. He went to Buffalo. Then he went to New But I feel like we need to focus on how he can help us. And as of right now, y'all, the Dallas Cowboys defensive tackle room is depleted. We had Mozzie and we had Osa and some guys, right? Jordan Phillips is a guy that can really come in and add that veteran leadership and kind of give us what we're missing in absence of Jonathan Hankins. So he was drafted um, a second round overall pick. I think that was back in 2015. He's 31 years old. He was drafted to the Miami Dolphins out of the University of Oklahoma. And he's had a lot of good seasons, right? So and I think in 2019, when he played for the Buffalo Bills, he had almost a 10 sack season playing for Buffalo. So he's a guy that can get pressure, has played a lot of reps, and I think he's going to add value when it comes to this Dallas Cowboys room. So let's go ahead and get into the film. This very first clip, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's versus Philly, right? So for some reason, I don't think he likes Philly. So you're more than welcome to play for the Dallas Cowboys if you don't like Philly, right? We share a common theme. But this very first play right here, you'll see his support in the run game and how he's able to push and battle with this guard maintain at the line of scrimmage and hold this point of contact at the line of scrimmage and go make a play Let's watch it in slow-mo boom so overall good push good push good fire off good hands good leverage boom hands extend there you go there you go use those arms right battle hand battle in the trenches Locate the ball carrier. Make a tackle. Good play for Jordan Phillips right there. And that's just what we need more of, right? I know that we are very opt or some of us are very optimistic about Mozzie Smith, but you need more guys that can do this on a consistent basis. And this is good veteran leadership, right? Look how he's staying square. You can pretty much see the back of his shoulder pads, right? Pretty much staying square. Using that push with that one arm, keeping the arm free, locating the ball carrier disengaging, making a tackle. Bang. Now this play right here, it really doesn't show much, but this kind of shows that Philly hatred, right? So they're going to line up in a little tush push. And you know what, bro? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of this, bro. Just like how I watched this tush push on Sundays where I saw this. I'm like, okay, Jordan Phillips, we can be friends because I'm sick of this damn tush push. He said, you know what? I'm just going to blow it up. Who cares, right? So I thought this play was funny, man. Just blow it up, cause a massive hole, and just like give it to him, whatever. All right, so this play, this is versus us, right? Last year, we remember this game where, you know, we couldn't stop the run, and, you know, they just ran all over us. But it shows the versatility of Jordan Phillips um, being able to play some five techniques. So he can play across the board. So he can play nose. He can play three tech. He can play five. He can get some pressure. Like I said, he had a double digit sack season. He's a guy that has extreme versatility. And I think that's probably what Coach Zimmer liked about him. But you'll see him run this inside stunt. Good setting up Tyron on the outside, right? So, boom. Set it up like you're coming outside. Coming inside. Tony Pollard doesn't want no problems with that to get the sack on Dak Prescott. So versatility. And he's a big boy. Like he has some size on him. So, you know, he's about 6'6", 341. So to have a guy that can play nose and three tech and also, you know, pretty much rush off the edge as well. And like you don't want to do this frequently, right? But you can mix it up a little bit to keep the offensive line guessing. And it shows that versatility with this stunt. He's able to get pressure on Dak Prescott. Next play right here, when it comes to your defensive lineman, you just want them active, right? Whether they're getting pressure, whether they're holding up at the line of scrimmage, but also getting their hands up, right? So good job stunning around here, just locating the pass from Dak Prescott and batting around. It should have been interception, but you know big boys can't catch, right? But 
overall is good awareness, right? So you want them doing something. If you can't get to the quarterback, can you disrupt the quarterback? And got to get some push-ups right there. Got to get some, you got you, you, you know, some push-ups right there. But overall, like good awareness to locate. All right, boom, I'm on the outside rush. On this outside slant. Ah, but Dak's looking right down at me. Let me go just bat it down, right? So overall, good play, good awareness from the veteran Jordan Phillips there. This game is versus the Super Bowl champs, right? The Kansas City Chiefs. And once again, you'll see him just being able to get pressure for a big boy. So this is going to be key because I would say this about Mozzie. He's not really an interior pressure guy as of right now. Now, can he turn into that? Maybe, right? And even with Jonathan Hankins, he wasn't really an interior pressure guy as well. Uh, but Jordan Phillips, he can definitely get pressure and he can move. Like I said, for a big boy, he's extremely athletic to be able to chase Pat Mahomes outside the pocket just a little bit, right? So just to be able to add that dynamic to our defense, I think that Zim is really going to like it. It's going to add to our other guys, most importantly, because if you're able to get interior pass rush with your defensive tackle, I mean, think about this. If you were to send Micah or you were to send Overshone or you would send Maris or send one of these high octane linebackers that we got, then it definitely changes the course of things, but he can turn and run. And that's something I definitely like about Jordan Phillips. This play versus the New York Jets right here. So you see him lined up. He's in the three technique on the outside. So it shows that versatility once again. Boom. Off the line of scrimmage. I would like to see his hands a little bit more, but you can stunt with them. So you have that end stunt, right? So pretty much this end is going to come crashing down. Boom. And you have the defensive tackle wrapping on the outside. And getting backside pressure and just clipping. I think that's Zach Wilson, right? By the shoelaces, right? So you can run these stunts, right? So when Zen wants to get creative, boom, there you go. And it's a big boy chasing, right? All right. So those are some of the positives. But of course, we just don't highlight the positives. We got to show some of the negatives too as well. I do think that in some cases, especially in run defense, he gets moved off his pivot a little bit from his line of scrimmage. You'll see that here. But this is Hall of Fame Zach Martin just doing what Hall of Fame Zach Martin does and just moving you out the club, bro. Get up, up out the club, right? So that's what Zach Martin does. So he is going to be a guy that needs to be, have rotation. And I think that's the most important piece because it'll be between him and Mozzie and a few others, whoever we bring in with us, Carl Davis continues, right? But he has low gas mileage. And sometimes he can get a little lackadaisical and a little lazy, right? But you're battling, you know, two on one, all pro, you know, Hall of Famer, Zach Martin. Like, it's just going to happen throughout the course of the game. I don't see it as consistent um, in this film because I watched four games last night, like four and a half. And then I had to dip because today's my wife's birthday, right? Happy wife, happy life. Salute to my wife. Um, but most importantly, like I said, he doesn't get moved often, but there are plays where he gas out and kind of loafs a little bit, right? But nothing too alarming. I feel like Coach Zimmer and Coach Z, uh, you know, the defensive tackle coach, defensive line coach is definitely going to keep that motor and that battery in his back. And also playing for Dallas is a little bit different because you know what you're playing for. All right, so you see him line up in this one. That's TJ Bass, right? That's TJ Bass. Yeah, I think that's TJ Bass and Tyler. So even though you're giving up your outside pad right there, still staying square, still staying square, locating the ball carry, right? So overall, he's still a force to move, right? So don't think that he gets blown off the line of scrimmage often. It just happens very sparingly throughout the course of the game. So you'll see that, but don't be too alarmed about it. But overall, I am excited, man. This was a good pickup. I know a lot of us have been banging the desk for a defensive tackle. We went ahead and traded with the New York Giants to get Jordan Phillips. And I think he's going to add value to our team, man. So I appreciate it. All the support, all the, the acknowledgement on the film com content. I know that y'all loving it. We hit 15K. So keep subscribing um, to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Follow me everywhere at JTuck151. Turn that notification bell so you do not miss out. But overall, I'm liking the Dallas Cowboys mindset as of right now. They're realizing the void that we all realize. And they're actually doing something, finally, to go out there and get help. I want everyone to stay safe. Stay blessed, stay encouraged, and go get another defensive tackle. Why stop now, Stephen Jerry Jones? Peace.